We just made this four foot tall Santa porch leaner with a one by 12 and some MDF. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. Christmas is almost here, a Santa Claus is coming to town, and we're gonna be the ones that bring them. <laughs> Paula D sent me an email and said, I need a standing Santa porch leaner, and ask if we can make it for her. And I said, sure, Garrett, make us a standing Santa porch leaner. <laughs> so I made a bunch of tall, skinny Santas, because I was thinking six foot tall, a lot of them had their hands in their pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Kim nixed them all and came up with something a lot cuter. He was really trying to keep it in the bounds of that board, of the vertical board, and I was like, no, he needs to be jolly, round, and happy. So we came up with a really cute one. He's got a little round belly and a big happy face, and he's waving. So we're gonna make it with you guys today. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a one by 12 that's four foot long. This is gonna be our base. We're gonna glue everything on it. We needed some quarter inch MDF. This is what we're gonna cut all of our Santa pieces out of. We needed some wood glue to glue the MDF to the wood. Then we needed some Starbond Thick to glue the MDF to MDF. And of course, we're gonna use our Foxy Hughes paints. They are weather resistant and UV resistant, so it's gonna be perfect to paint for this project since it will be outside. And that is it. <laughs> Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna take the quarter inch MDF over to our Eon Nova 14, and we're gonna cut out all of our little Santa pieces. Our Nova 14 has a large bed size. It is 55 by 36, and we'll be able to cut the entire project on one project board. But if you have a smaller desktop laser, the SVG that we have available in our store can be cut on a desktop laser because Garrett has it puzzle piece so it'll fit and break down into smaller pieces and you'll still be able to make a four foot project leaner with a desktop laser. Step three. Now we paint. Hey, here's <laughs> tea. We're not gonna use this paintbrush. We're gonna use some rollers and some Foxy Hughes paint. Now, this is a big kit because Santa is not demure. He's big and jolly. So we've gotta lay it all out and we're gonna dry fit it so we can see where everything goes and make sure he's all fitting on the board properly. I think that's a big hat. That's a big hat. He's a big guy. He's jolly, holly jolly. All right, let's 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 get all the little pieces out and then see where everything's gonna go. Right. Then we'll start to paint. His feet. His feet. Wow, look at his beard, look at this thing. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> yeah, we're going big on this one, Kim. All right, that Part fits in body. there, yeah. I can see that. And here's this little waving arm. I don't want this to fall, I can't let that thing crash to the ground. Okay, it's nice and sturdy on there. That works well. Yeah, then his belt goes across. Kind of holds it there. Here's his fun little mustache. Mustache. Right. This is the top of his boots. Now, you can use the face, or you can just use the board, paint the board. What's this? Oh, this is the brim oh, of his the hat. Brim of his hat, yeah. And then, oh, these are his cuffs. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's pretty. Oh, wait. Hold up. Let me squeeze that in there. This is his belt buckle. His nose. Oh, and his nose. All right. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's easy. This looks like a lot of pieces. It's really just the top half is big. So we're going to paint his the bottom half of this board, or a bottom. I don't know, a third or, of it. Yeah, black. For his boots. This is gonna be black. This is gonna be red. And then pretty much everything else is covered by his suit. Yeah. And how much of the hat hangs off? I guess you can. Well, I mean, we can push it down. Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Because we'll glue it and tack it in the corners and I think it'll be fine. Put the hat over top of it after we tack it. Won't even know. All right. All right, now let's separate it by color. Okay. So I'm just gonna make a mark here, here, 
right? Mm -hmm. All right. So from here to the to this would need to be painted red, and then from here down black. Yeah. I thought I'd show you a little bit about the Foxy Hughes paint. So we already said they're weather resistant, they're UV resistant, but they come in different sizes. So this is a 16 ounce bag, an eight ounce bag, and a four ounce bag. Now to do this project, you're only gonna, I would say for the red, we're probably gonna use no more than two ounces. And I'd say that's the same for the white, right? Yeah, no more than two ounces. So a four ounce bag will definitely get this project done. So of each color, one of each color, less than that really. And then are we gonna even paint the rest of the, this board? It's all going to be covered up by MDF, right? Yeah. So I really just need to paint this little bit here and this little bit here. Yep. Sometimes if you want your red to pop and be a little brighter, cherrier, then you could put white underneath and then put the red on top and it just makes the red, red just a little bit brighter. Okay. Same with yellow, Pops. same with orange. Yep. Uh, those are the colors that we'll add that white like primer coat to. Just base, give it a base white. Now you want to make sure that we mix these paints. You see me, I did a little squeezing, a little shaking. You wanna shake your bag and squeeze it up because it does have all of these weather resistant properties in it. In it, it settles and you'll wanna make sure that you mix everything back in so it gets a nice even uh, protection to it. We keep our foam rollers in some Ziploc bags. It just helps them stick around a little bit longer because we use them so often. Now this bag starts to get dry. If you can see, this bag is actually getting a little crusty on the inside. It doesn't mean the roller's bad, it just means it's starting to dry on the baggie. So I will replace the baggie and I can keep using the roller. Because she didn't really mix it well before she poured it, I'm just gonna use the tip of the roller, kind of stir it up a little bit. I put the paint at the top of my paper plate here so that I wasn't sloshing my roller around in the paint and getting too much paint on there. Right, Kim? That's right, Garrett. <laughs> I'm always lecturing him about not putting the paint right in the middle or not putting the paint directly on the board because where you pour the paint will soak in faster or longer than it would be if you hit it with the roller. So it's better to put your paint on a plate or some other surface. Uh, I think Ingrid shared that she puts hers on some sort of wax paper and then she can reuse the wax paper. I thought that was oh, a great that idea. that is a great idea. Mm -hmm. These rollers also already have paint in them. So for this first coat of black, I don't even have to add any more paint onto the roller. It's gonna have enough to give me a first coat. And then looks like it's kind of dry, so I'll add a little paint for the second coat. Now for his face pieces, we're gonna use our little peaty peach here. This is the color that we have available in the spring. We have it available at a limited time, so if you didn't get it this past spring, it'll be back next spring. Um, but if you don't have that and you need it now, you can make yourself a peach colored. So using our Poultry Pursuit pink and maybe a little white and a little yellow can mix up your own peach color. Um, shit is, yeah, never mind. I was debating on whether his beard should be like a light gray, but I don't think so. Uh, yeah, like. No, no, no. no. Just white, keep Just it white, white. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to give it a little like quits, Garrett quits likes to, quartz? Yes, Garrett likes to get like ultra realism on it and then, then it sometimes takes it too far. No, it takes it to the, the next level, takes it to the edge, takes it to the limit. <laughs> Let's take it to the limit one more time. <laughs> take it? No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> to the limit. I knew you weren't gonna be able to resist it. <laughs> and you see how far this paint is going? All I did so far was roll this one time in the beard. I mean, I rolled the whole beard, the top of the boots. The I boots. think I can get a first coat on maybe everything, really. Let's see how much paint's left in my roller. Sorry, I'm taking all the 
space. Yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of white in this guy. There is. Oh, this is black. It's got a lot of fur trim. Boots with the fur. <laughs> By the time I finish doing all of the white, I'll be ready, everything will be dry, and I can come back and just do a second coat on everything. It dries in like three minutes. Super fast dry. As long as you put multiple thin coats, not one thick coat. I mean, it dries pretty fast with a thick coat too. <laughs> dries even faster with a hair dryer. Some colors take a little longer to mix up. That one mixed up really quickly, but some of them have some really dark pigments in them and require you to mix just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. All right, I'll let this dry for its first coat. Come back with a second coat on everything. Oh, that's what you're already working yep, on. Yeah, I already started my second coats. I'm quick, kill I'm quick. Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> We were asked to do like a master class in painting tips and techniques. We're always showing you in the videos, but what do you think about a class that's just painting techniques? So you can watch like all the techniques in one. All the techniques. In one video at one just time. In one sitting, you get all the, all the painting techniques at one time. Just a download, download of all the techniques. <laughs> Thanks, hype man. <laughs> Leave us a comment, let me know what you think, if that's something that you'd be interested in. Because we've been asked a few times, and I was like, yeah, I mean, I give paint techniques in every video. But I guess so all at out. one time, yeah. yeah, would be nice. All right, I'm just, do I'm just now doing a second pour. So I still don't think that's any more than one ounce, maybe an ounce and a half. And that is definitely gonna be enough to do everything with a second coat. What happened here? Somehow I got char all over this. All yeah. charred up, nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, shucks. No worries, I'll find something to do. <laughs> I mean, you got your char on. Get out there, see the world. Because now I think it dropped a little Soot. Smudge on my mustache. The old soot smudge. Soot and smudge. That's what they called me in college. <laughs> old soot, old soot and smudge. <laughs> Do you get embarrassed by some of the things that you say? Uh, it comes out before I get a chance to stop it. <laughs> Are you going to edit it out this video? No, I'll leave it. You can't now. Do not let him edit this out of the video. <laughs> How will they know? <laughs> Cute little pink nose. Chasing it. You're getting crazy with it over there. Use the tape. Don't do as I do, do as I say. All right. You're like the paint Yoda. Step four. Now we glue it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna bring it all together with a little bit of this Gorilla Wood Glue. We're gonna stick the MDF pieces to the board using the wood glue, but then we're gonna use the Starbond Thick to glue the MDF pieces to the MDF. And maybe we're gonna come in with a little half inch brad, the nail, not the guy. We're gonna come in with a little half inch brad to hold it in place till the glue really cures. All right, wanna do a layout? Mm-hmm. We'll go bottom up. Yeah. I've got his boots already. I already put his boots on here. Boots, now give him the fur. Give him the fur. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. All right, we're ready to start gluing. Yeah, yeah. Guess gluing it, do the old gluing tack. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Whoa, that's all right, we'll work. All right, I'm locked and loaded. Let's go ahead, put them on there. Oh, 
Now, he asked because he's gonna hide the nail behind the belt. Mm-hmm. Gonna staple him in the belly. He's gonna get a little, get a good old tummy tuck, little staples. All right, gotta lay that down. And then I think I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, it's a little uh, low. Wait, wait, wait. So where that dirty fingerprint is. Uh -huh. And hold up, hold up. So. Just hold the both on there for a minute. The battery died. Okay, new battery, clean fingers. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. He is gonna be so cute on the front porch. I love it. Piece? Yeah, does well, it go that sideways or does it go vertical? Assembly. Sideways? Sideways, like a belt. Let's give him just about two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, you know what you're missing? What? The little ball oh, of his hat. Oh yeah, where's the ball of his hat? Oh. It was here earlier, I saw it. Do you mm. think it got painted? I don't remember painting it. Mm, I found it. It's under oh. the table. Guess I gotta paint him. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna step around so I can see what he looks like. All right. Oh, he's so cute. Look how happy he is. I love it. He is a happy Santa. Look, he's so happy. He is a, he's like a big Santa. He's got a big head. He's like a big headed Santa. Now he looks huge. Let, let's see. Easily, let's put easy. him down here, can, so we can see like exactly. Uh huh. Right. I'm gonna hold him by his head. Uh huh. All right. He stands about this tall. He's nipple height. No. <laughs> I would say he is. <laughs> let's see. What? Maybe four it's foot. Like four and four, a half. Yeah. Four foot. It's maybe just a little foot, taller than inches. the board. He's yeah. standing up about. This is the here, board. I'll show you the back of the board. Ooh, his arms. A little extra glue back there. There you go. Hold him by his arms. Ooh, come on, baby boy. <laughs> it's like baby Santa. Oh, he's perfect. I love it. I'm so, whoa. whoa. I thought you had it. I thought you had it. <laughs> he's perfect. I love it. That is exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I envisioned. Paula, I hope this is exactly what you envisioned. We are about out of time. I have to make a couple of more Santas for the craft show this weekend. You should go make a Santa and show me what you're working with. <laughs> And a big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. You are the best. That is the best community over there. I mean, hands down. I said hands down, Santa. Now remember, on Patreon, you get all of our SVGs as part of your monthly membership with the Made It tier and the Master It tier. Oh, oh I'm in. Including I'm Santa. In. In. Oh, oh. <laughs> we needed some quarter inch MDF. This is what we're gonna, this is what we're gonna cut all of our I mean, for four foot tall, that is a big foot for a four foot tall man. <laughs> He's got some, Santa's got big feet. You He's know what they big, say about big feet? <laughs> big hands? <laughs> Inappropriate. Kim. Step four. Ooh, one more time. <laughs>